Hi, Colleen here from Keeping Peace 2010, and thank you for joining me for another episode of Colleen Answers Your Questions. Today, our question comes in the down bar of one of my kind of old videos. It was published February 2013. It's called Lead Poisoning, Exposure, Effects, and Preventative Measures for Shooters. I'll link it here if you've not seen it or if you're interested in seeing it now. And the question is, let me get to it. It's from Alien Abduction here on YouTube. I'll put him here. It says, I'm concerned about this because when I was a little kid, I used to eat paint chips from around the windows in the house where I grew up. This was in the 60s. I'm now 53, so the paint probably had lead in it. How much lead does it take to affect a person adversely? The other question I have is lead in a pencil. Is it dangerous too? I ask this because when I was in the sixth grade, a bully stabbed me in the finger with a pencil and the lead tip broke off and stuck in my finger. And it was a good sixteenth of an inch of the point. Over the years, the lead pencil point in my finger was absorbed by my body. I have certainly suffered from some of the symptoms associated with lead poisoning, but I also have Asperger's, so I don't know if these symptoms are attributable to lead poisoning or the Asperger's exclusively. Great question. It's kind of a couple of questions, but we'll go ahead and address them. My doctor uh, that handled my lead case told me that anything over two is toxic to your body and can cause symptoms. Each person is going to be affected by symptoms differently and the symptoms of lead poisoning are very much overlapping with other things that might be going on in your life. Like for me personally, my thyroid disease, I have Hashimoto's thyroid disease and it caused a lot of the same things. So I was blaming them on my thyroid where my lead poisoning might have been exacerbating my already thyroid symptoms, if that makes any sense. So I haven't studied up on Asperger's enough to be able to list symptoms, but I totally understand what you're talking about, about the overlap of symptoms. So it's hard to distinguish. Um, me being a childbearing age female made the concern even worse for my doctor because if I were to get pregnant, it could really drastically affect a baby um, in the womb and also a breastfeeding baby after birth. So that was a big issue and why he probably attacked it really hard. I have had male friends that were bigger than me that had a higher level than I did who were not affected nearly as badly. So it kind of depends on the person and how your body metabolizes things. Also, when it comes to the lead of a pencil, from what I've been told, it's graphite, not necessarily lead. I'm not sure what that was like way back then, but I also got stuck with a pencil and had a piece in me for years and years and years, and it's not there now. Um, but I don't think that had anything to do with my problems. I do think that's just graphite, and I don't know enough about that. I really haven't researched that. So if anybody knows the answer to that, would you comment down here and let this guy know, because I'm not real sure about that. Um, but as, as far as what could affect you and what could be causing your symptoms, my biggest recommendation would be just go to your doctor, just a regular doctor, and ask him to order a lead level baseline for you. That will just eliminate your questions. And if you have, you know, a level over two, he's probably going to recommend that you do something about it. Um, if he doesn't, and your lead is what you consider to be high, I would go to a different doctor because um, my doctor was really, really concerned. <laughs> so, um, do you? How much do you shoot? That's another question. Uh, how much time do you spend at the range? And is it a range that has good filtration, or is it maybe an older indoor range that does not have good air filtration or air movement? Um, so just let me know a little bit more information, but I would totally recommend just go have a baseline done. It might answer some of your questions. Um, you may see that you have no lead in your body whatsoever, which would be a hallelujah moment. That would be great. So let me know. If you go have that test, let me know down below how it goes. And if you have any other questions, let me know because anytime you have a question, someone else is probably wondering the same thing. So thanks. Great question. Talk to you later. Bye.